With that said, I think I've got my friends from New Species, but let me kick off with, uh, who's that, Grace? And we'll speak to our New Species family. Keep it up. My name is Grace Forsyth. Well, before New Species, mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with lymphoma. What is that? Lymphoma is a form of cancer, but it can affect any part of the body. It can pop up anywhere. Mm -hmm. But I had it, I had a mass in my chest. Mm -hmm. So I started on chemo. So in the midst of chemo, then I come to New Species. Why did you come to us? Because I figured I needed something to help me that's more natural because I know chemo is a lot of chemicals and toxin stuff and I needed to get rid of that and the feeling that chemo gave me it wasn't a pleasant feeling so I wanted some more to make me feel more energetic and to know that I'm cleansing the toxin while I'm on it since mm -hmm. it doesn't stay in the system right right so so how long have you been taking these species about how long I took it for probably about two or three months okay Yes. It's a good time. And yes, until it was done. But it did good. I followed the directions, the instructions that you gave me. Mm -hmm. And I lost weight. How much? I about lost that? about eight pounds in two weeks. The cancer went into remission. And everything was just going nicely, smoothly. So, are you set on chemo? No, I'm not. Radiation? No, I'm not. So, you did say that. Put you on some yes drugs. they put me on with toxin supposed to be once every two months for two years right. to prolong the cancer from coming back mm -hmm. so now that i went on it and my new species is finished of course the health started to deteriorate again so are you going to go back on to new species definitely and have you given god thanks oh a lot i have a lot to give thanks and praise for did you give god thanks to them church oh yes of course i did oh, i went up to the altar Thank you, Jesus. And your hands uh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I had a lot to give thanks and praise for. I have a long, big testimony. Mommy. <laughs> Gosh, I love that laugh. <laughs> it's ever. So I am giving it a trial now, too. So now it's your for time. For my diabetes and uh, joints. Joints. Are you happy for your daughter? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Austin, you've done it again, man. Austin. Are you there? Yes, sir. I'm ah, here. there you are. How are you, my friend? Yeah, very good, sir. Very good. <laughs> you done it again, man. Talk to me about Grace. Well, she's a fighter. Mm -hmm. She's a fighter, and she's very determined. And you know, people like those always come out, almost always come out on top. So that's you know the word I have have for Grace. She's a fighter, 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 and she wasn't going to accept a loss. Mm. She was going to win at any cost. <laughs> I like it. At yeah. any cost. Any cost she was going to win. And, you know, and that's the spirit that we need to walk around in life with. Mm -hmm. That when we come up against an obstacle, right. we should find a way and get past it okay. and just not make it crush us, you know. And she was determined for that, you know, to not happen. And then, you know, God bless her. She had a very wonderful mother and other family members, as you heard them in the background, who were there for her. You know, when we have challenges in life, that's where family is everything, you know. Mm -hmm. It's everything. Indeed, indeed. And we, we've always said that, you know, when one family member is sick, it's like the whole family is sick. And which means that sometimes the whole family has to rally around and, and be there for them. But at the same time, you need to tell them if you're doing the same thing over and over and you're not seeing the results, it's time to try something new. It's, you, you, can't, you can't give up. You can't stop fighting. No. Uh, fighting, it means that you've lost. Mm -hmm. If you stop fighting, it means you've lost. Fighting means that you are not going to take that loss. You know, you want, you're going to win. And especially with serious health issues, we, there's just so much we have to do. And especially people who are older, their body's not as strong, the immune system's not as strong. You know, they've had the issue for years. For some people, they have it for a whole decade. And their bodies are just severely damaged. They have a lot of work to do you know, with diet and lifestyle and taking, you know, what we recommend that they should take. And uh, and that's why, you know, Roy, we say some people is going to be six months, some people is going to be a year, and there are others where it's going to be more than a year. Yeah. It will take to properly clean the body, clean the bones, clean the cells, clean the tissue, rebuild all of that mm -hmm. 
for a lot of people because the damage is so bad, it's going to take a while. And uh, for those listening to the program, don't forget all the new species health centers are open seven days a week for you. It's open right now as we speak. And Austin is in Elmont, 241-01 Linden Boulevard, corner of Linden Boulevard and Elmont Road. You can't miss it. If you need directions, call 888-548-3150, 888-548-3150. That's 888-548-3150, 888-548-3150. Five four eight three one five zero. Now I know this month, Austin, you've been focusing on women's issues. How are the women responding? Are they coming in, Austin? And what are they complaining about? What are the, what are their concerns? Well, the you know they're coming in <laughs> great numbers actually, Lovely. and uh, I think you know the primary is usually going to be the same. With a lot of ladies who have uh, issues with hormones, mm-hmm. and that's part of the reason why we wanted to make this month, Mother's Month, not just one day, because one day is not enough to talk to the ladies about all they need to do to get, you know, to get well or to live better and longer. All right. So, so hormones has been a really big one. You know, today between Mount Vernon and here, I've talked to at least 10 women who have issues with their thyroid or women who have done hysterectomy. You know, I had a lady earlier in the day who had hysterectomy, and the doctors are telling her that because she removed her ovaries and she removed her uterus, and her estrogen levels are low, that hormone, that critical hormone for women, somewhere along the health, you know, line, her bones start, you know, getting soft, and now she has osteoporosis over her body, especially in her spine, Mm -hmm. which is the worst place anyone wants to have any kind of arthritic conditions. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there are consequences, right, to when people remove organs, and we're not saying that people shouldn't. People should. If they have to, they absolutely have to, because it threatens their lives. That probably should be the only basis, basis they should do that. But a lot of the ladies are coming in, they're having these hormonal issues. This one lady, she had fibroids for years, she was anemic for years. The fibroids were bothering her, so she removed them. And it caused, you know, effects on her thyroid Mm -hmm. and on her pituitary gland in her brain. And I think her hypothyroid, you know, started acting up as well. And it led to this uh, issue with calcium absorption and bone density conditions and I think that was that's what was wrong with her and for a lot of the ladies who've been coming into us for years now you could see where the hormonal imbalance have triggered a lot of issues not just cancers not just breast cancer right. ovarian cancer pelvic cancer hormonal imbalance I would say is the most devastating issue any woman could have especially when they're anemic for years mm-hmm. and their bodies have gone without proper oxygen for years Oxygen is life. There's nothing on earth in terms of nutrition or food, uh, DJ Roy, that is more important for life than oxygen. Just to give the ladies and the the guys as well, Mm -hmm. you know, an example. If we don't have adequate adequate oxygen on earth, all the living creatures on earth will perish. Even, Even the viruses and bacteria will perish. That's how important oxygen is. So if, if our bodies are not having the right amount of oxygen, I would say 99 plus percent the oxygen that we should have, their organs that, that, that are, are going to go bad each other way, their cells are going to go bad, you know, and as I've said repeatedly, the absence of adequate oxygen in our body is the primary cause, the primary cause of all cancers. All right. I hope you guys are listening. I hope you ladies are listening. I hope you know that Austin is in Elmont today, 241-01 Linden Boulevard. The phone number again is 888-548-3150, 888-548-3150. Now, if a lady comes in, Austin, and says she she um, she thinks, I use the word think because too often we think we're healthy and we're not. Uh, but, you know, everything seems to be okay with them, but they, they you know, they, they're not getting up in the morning, they don't, lacking of energy, uh, what would you recommend? Would you say um, get on the elixir? Would you say you need a good detox? Would they need the super caveman? Everyone should detox. Mm-hmm. Everyone, whether you are healthy or not, you should detox. Right. 
the body is easier where it detoxifies itself. That's what people don't know. Mm. The liver actually creates the enzymes to detoxify the body. But because our bodies are so weak, there's so much chemicals in the air, the food, you know, whatever, wherever we go, it's inescapable. Right. We have to give the body the extra help to detoxify itself. So every person, every child should be using a natural whole food detoxification cleanse. Every person should be doing that. Every child mm-hmm. should be doing that. And at the same time, I think everybody should be doing something like the Elixir or, or, or El New only because the foods that we eat are deficient in nutrients. Mm-hmm. You know, even if we're eating whole foods from the ground that God makes, right. because of the farming practices today, a lot of these foods are weak and our bodies are not getting what they should get to eat. So everybody should use the detox or at minimum do the detox and the elixir. All right. And you can do that by just stopping in at the New Species Health Center. Don't forget, they're open seven days a week. You can also go online at nuspecies.com. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, please do so. You get informed of all the great things that are happening. Anytime there's a discount, you know very, very early. And, of course, you can sign up there and be part of the New Life program. For more information, though, call 888-548-3150. Austin's going to be in Elmont today until 7 o'clock. You can stop in. And again, the address is 241-01 Linden Boulevard. That is the address where Austin's located. Thank you so much, Austin. Thank you, Roy. All right, take care.